Uh, this week's debate. What do we got? What is the worst kid song? Okay. All right. You want to go first? Or? Uh, well, your dad of the week. I'm going to let you decide who goes first. Uh, I'll go first then. I'm, I'm dying to hear yours. Okay. So my choice <clears throat> is... Oh, before you do start. <laughs> what? I do want to state that we did decide on some rules. Oh, yeah. So there are some rules. We couldn't pick Baby Shark because obviously everyone in the world hates it. It got played endlessly forever. Yeah. And there's there were certain songs that just could not cut it. Uh, the I've got a song that get will get on your nerves. That wasn't in the rules. That was just one we That's just, just a banger. <laughs> Why would you pick the best song ever? I've got a song. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. Okay. Well, I, I thought that was in the rules, but apparently I didn't understand no, the rules. No, you could have voted for it if you thought it was the worst, but it's obviously like one of the best, so that would have been dumb. I'm going to do like a metal version of it. I I'll mean, see if it's I can not do too like late a... for you to change your mind and decide it's that song. I'll get a song that'll get on your nose, yeah. get on your nose, get on your nose. I'm okay, going to do a metal version of metal it. You metal it. You just kind of made it flat. <laughs> no, I'm going to like... I'll You're just going to make it boring. No, I'm not even singing the tune. I know. I looked into it. It's, yeah. There's a whole thing. I'll, I'll explain it to you. What later. if it's parrot? Yeah, I'm not. I'll even... explain it to you later. It doesn't matter right now. Tell me a song. <laughs> but I will tell you why. Tell me a song. Anyway, my song is the "I Love You" song by Barney. <laughs> really? Yeah, and one of the main reasons because it, it's to the tune of this old man. <laughs> okay. And this old man. Oh, that song rips. This old man is a good song. So why wouldn't you enjoy this? Because Barney ruins it. He like slows it down. I love He's got this shitty awful voice. It's what are just the lyrics? Horrible. What are the... I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, I think. That's pretty scary. This Barney loves you. I... Wait, hang on. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't listen to it on repeat like I said I would. <laughs> if you did, that would have made you. <laughs> really... Oh, I, w I really wanted to do that to like build up the hate for it. <laughs> okay, so it's I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. A great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? So repeat. I think it is a bit sick. I think as far it's as sick. Why is it sick? Well, be... oh, it is very much like. It's like, love me, I'm the happy... Like, it's not like... Yeah. Like, the Sesame Street gang, they weren't like, please love me. They were just like, we're fun and lovable. Yeah. Barney's like, I'm lovable because I'm telling you to love me. Yeah, well... No, All it's, while ruining I don't even think this it's, old man. I don't even think it's a forceful thing. I think it's the fact that... Like, well, even the Wiggles don't hug kids. You know why they created the finger guns? Why? Because it's a way for them to interact with the kids without kids wanting to come up and hug them. Yeah, I'm pointy. I'm pointy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it diffuses any allegations. It's like I never went. We, I never went near the kid. Yeah. It's like yeah, but you you finger gunned me. Yeah, because that could always be a thing. Even like a lot of uh, stars and stuff, and they're like, when the girls like, can you take a picture with me? They're yeah. Like, they'll do the hover hand because yeah, no don't have any wiggles. Yeah. Guns. Yeah. Perfect. It makes sense. So yeah, Barney was very huggy. Yeah, he was touching everyone. Yeah, he did. That guy in that suit. And he ruined this old man. Was but it... he didn't ruin it. This old man is still a banger. Rolf Harris in that suit. Betcha. Probably was. I love you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's crappy wobble board. God, I love that wobble board. Oh, I hate That's it. one of the greatest instruments that of is... all time. What's your pick anyway? Because I don't think you could top Barney. I love you. My worst kid's song is Ring a Ring a Rosie or yeah. Ring Around the Rosie. You know what? I thought you were going to pick this. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. I just had a feeling when you were like... Mm. Well, it's sick. Well, maybe. The song's about... Like it was written in... The, the actual first actual written version of this song was in 18... 80. Mm -hmm. But there were people uh, noted in Europe who were singing it in seven in the 1700s. Yeah. This song, so if you're actually considering lyrics of this song, ring a ring a rosy, pocket full of posy, tissue, tissue, we all fall down. There is a verse too. Cows in the meadow eating buttercup, a tissue, a tissue, we all jump up. I didn't know there was a second verse. I didn't either hey. until... 
I read it and then I thought, oh, when I was in kindy, I might have heard that. Now, are the lyrics definitely bad? Because I've yeah. heard that that was just like a rumor that started like a century later. I guess in the same sense, if you're thinking about it that way, Ring a Ring a Rosie is meaning it was actually based on the bubonic plague, which comes from ticks. So ticks bite, which is uh, like generally you'll get the, the wounds in your armpits, groin or on your neck. And they start off as these little red rings. So ring a ring a rosy. Yeah. Pocket full of posy was based on the fact that once you had them to get rid of the stench, they used to put flowers in their pocket Ooh. as like almost like, what is it? Potpourri or whatever. Yeah. They used to have that sort of stuff. A tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. So yeah. dead. Got bit. Stink, dead. Then, cows in the meadow eating buttercup. We all jump up, which is pushing up daisies. Yeah, okay. We're flowers. How is that a kid's song? Well, a thing is also, I don't know when death started becoming such a, you let's keep away from that topic kind of thing, but it used to be much more kind of discussed, kind of, this is just part of life kind of thing. And, and I guess back then a was... A lot of kids would have been around experiencing that plague. Like, they weren't away from it. Like, they they weren't separated from the plague. Their parents were getting it. Their grandparents, whatever. You know, they would have been seeing it. And it wouldn't have been hidden away like a lot of yuck diseases are now. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. It's in front of you. You're seeing it. It's all exposed. You're seeing people in the street with it and whatever. And so I guess making a song about it kind of brings a bit of lightness to it in like something is so disgusting and so i guess if you if you think about it that way it's more of like putting but putting light to children in song form your brother died your brother died yeah but it's because we, we <laughs> that's not good we view death differently these days so there are cultures who actually i watched a thing where they they wrap up the the corpse in leaves yeah they pulled out this like a hundred year old woman and they praise her and they touch her and then they they cover her up and bury her again and that's like a traditional thing like let's go play with the corpse yeah sick well they used to, to, even... to us that's they, a culture thing. That's a normal thing for them. They used to even just have the body in the house, like on display for like a week before they bury him. It's like, come see, do. come see grandpa. He's dead. Have a look at him. Yeah. Off you go. Like, so everyone can come and say goodbye and that kind of thing. Death is a really weird thing. Yeah, yeah. And then like our perception of it changed a lot over the years. I can't even comprehend from our lifetime that... Death in that sense will be okay for kids to have a song about. I think it is important for kids to know about death and experience it and that kind of thing. That's why a lot of parents would get their kids like guinea pigs. They die quickly. They don't so last do rats, very long. Yeah. And rats and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so that kids can experience death and know the permanency of it and the meaning behind it. Like rather than just hiding it away from kids. Like, no, 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 no death isn't real. Just Because no, yeah, think... they're going to lose people. People are going to die. I suppose if, just you can, part of life. if you're considering a, a plague and back then, because it was just like, I, I read that like the way to treat the bubonic plague is antibiotics, which to us is just like, oh, cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah. So, That's a normal thing. Yeah. But back then they didn't have that sort of treatment. So if you think away that, about the way that medicine has gone, we've been able to adapt that death is something that we can hide and not have to deal with. Yeah. Whereas back then it was just like, Oh, did you hear about Gary down the road? Yeah. He got bitten by a, COVID. a dog and is dead. Do you think the Wiggles are going to put out a COVID song? And then like in a hundred years time, it's going to be, man, the Wiggles are sick. They brought out a COVID song. It's disgusting. Letting kids know that people get sick. <laughs> do you think the Wiggles are going to release a COVID song? Yeah. They do do a cover of Ring Around the Rosie. Does it count as a cover if you're singing a... You know, thousand year old nursery rhyme? I don't know. A hundred year old. Cover law is so weird. But I... Oh, yeah. Let's not get into that. No. I'll tell you about it later. But I think the fact that they're singing songs about death... It, so, back then, I think it was appropriate. Right now, that song may not be appropriate. Well, here's the thing. Because we don't have the plague right now, and... So the lyrics are basically just meaningless, weird, cute words. 
They're very vague. Yeah. So, to kids, it's just a cute nursery rhyme that they can sing along to. It doesn't matter that they're singing about death and stuff because they don't know they're singing about death. It's just a fun song with fun actions. Okay. This is a sensitive issue. The bubonic plague, obviously, to some people, would have lost someone. Yeah. Okay. Talking about any sort of pandemic or uh, any world changing event i guess you could even relate it to covid right now because a lot of people have lost people to covid absolutely if you were to sing about covid and make light of that to kids saying ha ah, we got this joke yeah but we got this joke song that's fun for kids someone is going to go man this has been the worst year of my life yeah i lost my job and then i lost my family members and then and then know, the covid song comes on yeah and covid song and i'm yep. and it's like yeah, it might be good for kids to relate, but it's really hard for me to hear. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I guess any songs about from any traumatizing era, era any event, which there are a lot of <laughs> over the yeah. past hundred years, a lot of very traumatizing events that uh, may have happened that are uh, even making light of those now. You get yourself in a lot of trouble. Yeah, you get in and a lot that's of trouble. It. I mean, that's cancel culture happens because of these. Why have we not canceled something like? Ring around the rosy. Yeah. Because yeah, there could be some people still. I don't think anyone's. <laughs> no one from the area of the bubonic plague is still around. No, but it did kill a lot of people. The world is very different today because yes. of that. All of those people who died could have went on to be our That's parents the is world, dead. The world could have been a much more educated place based on the fact that if, if they had the knowledge back then to do what they could. Yeah, medicine wasn't evolved enough back then. No, we were still using potatoes for everything. Yeah. So, to me, that's a much worse... Politically and everything, that song is much worse than Barney loving children. Okay, but... Um, <laughs> I feel like there are probably politically worse songs. But you picked Barney than the one you picked but i don't think that matters really <laughs> the grand scheme of things the worst kid song is like you're going to be hearing that because your kid's going to be watching the things like you're not going to hear barney's song anymore barney's not on tv anymore but yeah you know that was the worst song even when you're a kid you hated it <laughs> i no, told no had... kid liked that song but every and... kid got to sing it and make fun of it yeah that was fun when i was a kid it was like I love you, you hate me. Yeah. We're a stupid family. Like, it was just fun. Yeah, parodying it because you hated it so much because it was the worst. <laughs> you can, I mean, you can make fun of that. That's you fun. made fun of it because it was the worst. See, but if you did that about Ring Around the Rosie, it's offensive to people who died of the bubonic plague. Yeah, no one's offended by that anymore. <laughs> We're going to see this. This boat's going to come. People going to see these two. This is another. This is my second win for sure. <laughs> that was a silly pick. Because people are like, oh, that song's not that annoying. No one's going to watch the argument too. No, they're just going to think, oh, that song's heaps annoying. That one's not so annoying. No, I love that song. They fell down. Yeah. Wiggles do a banger cover of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with how this is going to go for me. Should have gone with Tony <laughs> Kangaroo down. Yeah.